My name is Ryan Humpschild, and I'm Director of Pharmacy here at Emory Healthcare and the Winship Cancer Institute. Compounding is actually when we take the medication and then we take the sterile water or the dextrose solution in the IV bag and we actually mix them together and we refer that as compounding. When that medication comes in, two pharmacists independently will check that order. They're going to go ahead and make sure it's the right medication for your unique therapy, is it the right one for your unique mutation, and is it dosed appropriately. Also, do you have any side effects or drug-drug interactions that we need to screen for? So there's separate work done by two independent pharmacists to reduce any kind of compounding uh, bias and to make sure that all the safety checks are occurring appropriately. Once those safety checks occur, then the order gets transitioned into what we call a sterile compounding clean room. These clean rooms meet the highest quality and safety requirements in the industry to make sure that the sterility of your medication and the stability of your medication is compounded appropriately. So an order will actually get sent through electronically and we have sterile compounding pharmacy technicians that work in biological safety cabinets either in a positive pressure or negative pressure room to make sure that we're doing it with the utmost integrity. The order will flow in and the pharmacy technician will actually be in the biological safety cabinet taking photos throughout every step of the compounding process. That means reconstituting the vial, injecting it into the bag, requiring any type of swirling and then ejecting any other type of uh, medication and ultimately having your medication therapy ready and compounded appropriately. The pharmacist will check those photos to make sure every step of the compounding process was done appropriately and then once that medication is then sent externally we'll add a closed system transfer device to make sure that there's no leakage of any type of hazardous drug. Then two independent pharmacists will actually check the end product. Was it compounded correctly? Is there a closed system transfer device? Is there any particulate? Does everything look right? And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and dispense that out to the nursing team and the provider team to make sure we can administer it to the patient.